Avila is a medieval city in the province of Castile Leon in western Spain. Founded in the 11th century to protect the Spanish territories from the Moors, Avila has a magnificently well-preserved city wall, a historic cathedral, a number of Romanesque churches, and an authentic medieval atmosphere. The roots of the city wall takes advantage of natural escarpments in the terrain caused by the Daja River. Stretching for two and a half kilometers with nine gates, two posterns, and a surface area of 33 hectares, Avila's walls are imposing and magnificent. The image of a medieval city is formed by its walls. Much more than a symbolic representation, they are the monument which explains the city and shapes it. The walls of Avila are like a book which recounts the history of Avila and its peoples. Throughout history, the walls have been an active and determining factor in the way the urban development of Avila was configured, and in the distribution of the urban space amongst the various social groups who lived here, including craftsmen, nobility, clergy, Jews, Mudejares, and so on. There has been much discussion concerning the identity of the architects of these walls. The legendary chronicles state that responsibility for their initial construction fell to two master geometricians, the Roman Cassandro and the Frenchman Florine de Pituenga. However, the style of construction suggests someone much more familiar with the Arabic building style. Although the walls of Avila are much less homogeneous than is usually claimed, there are certain styles of construction that suggest a formal similarity with the walls of Toledo. The apse or head of the cathedral, known to the locals as the Simorro, is embedded in the wall and thereby forms one of the strongest elements of the entire defensive structure. The external part of the apse, which gives onto the Calle San Segundo, is a cover added at the end of the 14th century to hide the secondary apses and reinforce the military character of the temple. Most of the cathedral that can be seen today was built between the 12th and 14th centuries. During this time, the trend moved from the Romanesque to the Gothic style, a transition that can be clearly seen in the church's interior. The front facade is fairly elaborate and dates from the late Gothic period. The front doorway was constructed even later, in the Baroque style. In general, the basic structure of the building is squat and massive. Its decorative features from the Gothic period are later. Dedicated to San Salvador, Avila's cathedral is truly a cathedral castle, with battlements and sentry walks incorporated into the structure. Inside, visitors can see the change from Romanesque to Gothic in action. The earlier Romanesque elements are made of a white and red stone, while the Gothic features were constructed of pure white stone. The cathedral's vault, where the chapels are housed, is a masterpiece of the 12th century master Fuchel. The arching crucifix, as well as the columns placed as counterposts, are later additions. Walking along the walled enclosure is the best way to discover the nine gates in the wall, each with a specific function and layout. Behind them a square, palace, or church offers a different image, like pieces of a puzzle, which together form a whole. Today the wall measures 2.5 kilometers in length, 14 meters high and as much as 3 meters thick. It is adorned by almost 2,500 crenellations and 100 towers. The Basilica of San Vincente is located outside the city walls, on the site where, according to tradition, Saints Vincent, Sabina, and Cristeta were martyred. On the south side of the church is a portico added in the 14th century, said to have been a place of judgment. 
The present-day Basilica of St. Vincent dates from the 12th century and is mostly Romanesque in style. The west doorway with its porch is embellished with a fine group of Romanesque sculptures composed of column figures of the apostles and on the central column, Christ with two other apostles. The basilica has three very high naves and three apses. The large nave is adorned with a triforium covered by a dome with Gothic fan vaulting. The apses have pipe and bowl domes. With its rich religious heritage, Avila has several important religious buildings, including a cathedral, churches, basilicas and monasteries. The city of Avila has a special importance for pilgrims because of its association with the great mystic and reformer Saint Teresa de Jesus, better known as Saint Teresa of Avila. Teresa was a 16th century Carmelite nun who reformed her order, had many ecstatic visions, and wrote several books. The convent of Saint Teresa is one of two main destinations for Catholic pilgrims to Avila. An interesting sculptural group, composed of altarpieces, images and altars, can be admired in the convent's interior. Some of them are works by the master of the Castilian Baroque style, Gregorio Fernandez, together with assistance from his atelier. Throughout the late Middle Ages and the Renaissance, the local nobility liked to build its mansions backing onto the walls in the upper part of the city to associate their families with this symbolic and prestigious structure. In fact, one of the functions of the wall was to underscore the class system. The powerful lived inside and in the upper reaches of the enclosure, while the less fortunate had to settle outside the walls and in the damp areas which received little sunlight. This explains why the most important palaces in the city are built backing onto the wall. The Plaza del Mercado Chico, the little market square, where the old Roman Forum was situated, is the center of the town. The main facades of the town hall and the Church of San Juan, which was rebuilt in the 15th and 16th centuries, face onto it. Begun in 1483 by Martín de Solorzano, the Monastery of St. Thomas was founded by Hernán Núñez de Arnalte, the treasurer of the Catholic monarchs. A few years later, María Dávila, his widow, gave the patronage of the church to the Spanish monarchs Isabel and Ferdinand. The church and convent are built in a similar, late Gothic style. The Monastery of St. Thomas is a fine example of late 15th and early 16th century architecture, in which the late Gothic and the Mudeja styles come together harmoniously, and thus offers an excellent example of the changing aesthetic of the period in which it was built. Integrated into the monastery but maintaining its independence is the palace that the Catholic kings ordered to be built around the patio of the kings, as the monastery's third cloister is known. Avila's Museum of Oriental Art is now housed in part of the court premises. The Church of St. Thomas contains three distinct cloisters. The first, known as the Cloister of the Novices, is small but refined. Another, the Cloister of Silence, is in a typical monastic style with Isabelline arches. The third cloister is the impressive Cloister of the Kings. The King's Cloister is 35 meters long and 38 meters high. The Christian kings succeeded in taking possession of the city after having lost it repeatedly to the Moors. Alfonso VI conquered the city in 1085 and charged Raimundo de Borgogna with repopulating the city and supervising the construction of the wall over the ruins of the ancient Roman fortress. The current city walls, as well as many of the churches, convents and palaces, were built during the 12th century. The group of buildings is dominated by a monumental church with a single nave, ogival vaults, and several side chapels. 
In the middle of the transept is a beautiful marble sarcophagus of the Infante Don Juan, son of the monarchs, the work of sculptor Domenico Fancelli. The altar is situated at the same height as a choir, with panels depicting five scenes from the life of St. Thomas by Pedro Berruguete. The choir, composed of 73 chairs of carved walnut wood, is a masterpiece by Don Martin from 1492. The headquarters of the royal advisor and confessor, the notorious Friar Tomas Torquemada, were also based here. Torquemada, Spain's first Grand Inquisitor and leader of the zealous witch hunts of the 15th century, is also buried here. Like no other city in Spain, Avila invites its visitors to repose in contemplation. It conveys to its guests the stillness and mystery of the spirituality that lies within its convents and monasteries. The famous Spanish mystics, St. Teresa of Jesus and St. John of the Cross, flourished in Avila. This city of saints hides within its magnificent walls a priceless network of churches and palaces, while preserving in its streets the medieval austerity of the Castilian spirit. Avila has a magnificently well-preserved city wall, a historic cathedral, a number of Romanesque churches, and an authentic medieval atmosphere.